In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert grams to milliliters and milliliters to grams. In order to do this, we need the density of the liquid or the solution. So let's work on this example problem. A liquid with a mass of 74 grams has a density of 1.5 grams per milliliter. What is the volume of this liquid in milliliters? So what you could do is start with the mass in grams. Next, we're going to convert grams to milliliters using density. Now let's think about what this means. We have a liquid with a density of 1.45 grams per milliliter. That means that one milliliter of that liquid has a mass of 1.45 grams. 10 milliliters of that same liquid has a mass of 14.5 grams. And so the density tells us the relationship between mass and volume. Now what we have here is our conversion factor. What part of that conversion factor should go on the bottom and what part should go on the top? Notice that we have grams on the top left. Thus we need to put grams on the bottom right. So this part of the conversion factor needs to go on the bottom. Whoops. So let's put 1.45 grams here. And then the other part of the conversion factor has to go on top. And so note that the unit grams will cancel, giving us the answer with units of milliliters. And this is how we can convert mass or grams into milliliters using density. So now let's do the math. So whenever you have two numbers on top of two fractions, you need to multiply. If you have one number on top and one number on the bottom, you need to divide. So the operation that we're going to perform is division. It's 74 divided by 1.45. And so the answer in this problem is 51.03 milliliters. So that is the volume of this particular liquid. Now let's work on a similar problem but in reverse. A 500 milliliter acid solution has a density of 1.25 grams per milliliter. What is the mass of the solution in grams? So let's start with what we're given, which is the volume of the acid solution. Now we're given the density. So this tells us the conversion factor. A density of 1.25 grams per milliliter means that one milliliter, whoops, what is wrong with this computer? One milliliter of this particular acid solution has a mass of 1.25 grams. So now this time, in the second fraction, we're going to put this part of the conversion factor on the bottom. The other part, we are going to put it on top of the second fraction. So we want to use the units of density in such a way that the units milliliters will cancel. So this time we have two numbers on top which indicates that we're going to perform a multiplication. So 500 times 1.25 is 625. So that's the answer for this particular problem. This acid solution has a mass of 625 grams. Now let's work on one more problem. 50 grams of acid is dissolved in 300 grams of water. The resulting solution has a density of 1.3 grams per milliliter. What is the volume of the solution in milliliters? So the first thing we need to do is determine the total mass of the solution. The acid is the solute. Water is the solvent water dissolves the acid. And when you combine the solute and the solvent, you get the solution. So the mass of the solution is simply the sum of these two values. It's 50 plus 300, which gives us 350 grams of solution. Now we're going to use the density to convert from grams to milliliters. So a density of 1.3 grams per milliliter means that a volume of one milliliter has a mass of 1.3 grams. So we're going to put 1.3 grams on the bottom 
one milliliter on top. And so we can see that the units, grams, will cancel. Now we need to divide. 350 divided by 1.3 is approximately 269.2. And let's use the approximate symbol. And the unit will be in milliliters. So that's how you can convert from grams to milliliters using density and vice versa. So that's it for this video. If you like it, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And thanks again for watching.